Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Planetside 2 Beta, or I should say, the end of Planetside 2 Beta. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the beta ends today. If you don't have it, if you never got to beta, it's alright, that's it. Can't play. The whole weekend. Not until next week, when the game goes live. So, you're gonna have to wait. Uh, for those of you who are interested, you get an idea of what this game is. If you're not sure if you want to download it when it does go live. I'm gonna give you a little quick intro, give you an idea of what this game's about, you know, things you should know. Alright, let's go in. Create character. First thing you do, select your empire. Violent Sovereignty, New Conglomerate, and Terran Republic. The Vanu, uh, they're the most alien based tech uh, faction. They use a lot of energy weapons. Uh, their main battle tank is a hover tank. Everything's like basically all projectiles. I think even like the generic you know, that's same with every faction is like still like energy based. Or at least has some kind of energy related to it. Uh, new conglomerate. They're basically they kinda look like the most like modern day with like weaponry and stuff. Uh, especially the main battle tank looks like kind of like a modern day tank. Uh, it's all about like heavy armor and like, heavy weaponry. High damage, uh, with a very slow rate of fire, you know, it's, it's like that, it's hit, hit hard, but not as often. Terran Republic, very fast, uh, like, like, they're, like, the fighter, the tank, they're, they're one of the quickest ones. Actually, no, this one is, like, the quickest, maybe I'll tank, but Terran Republic still, like, pretty quick. Uh, look at the infantry, the fighters are the fastest. Uh, they also have the highest rate of fire, and also the largest magazine sizes, so they to compensate for that. So they, they do kind of have the worst accuracy, but they're the, the race I prefer. I really like the, the dynamic to the Terran Republic. Uh, high rate of fire, uh, their weapons work, the vehicles, main battle tanks are awesome, I love it. It's a double barrel cannon, awesome. Uh, I tried the other two before, the Banu. The one thing I didn't like about Bondos is they made battle tanks. Since it is a hover tank, the control is basically the same as like a fighter, which I didn't like. It's it was so limited since you're like basically stuck hovering, stuck like glued to the ground pretty much. And like, they're, they hit a lot of maneuverability uh, compared to the other tanks, but like, I just didn't like it. I don't know. You might, you might be different than me, but you know, me personally, I didn't like the Bondo. New Conglomerate, they were like my second choice if I had to pick. Uh, just the heavy weaponry, like their tank. Their tank's pretty awesome too. But yeah, I just I just really like the Terran Republic. The whole you know, hold on, hold on the trigger trigger button, just load up, load all your bullets on the enemy. Just awesome, I love them. So that's basically the race I pick. If you pick uh, your faction, go to the server screen. Just your choice of servers. Uh, this unlocked right now for the beta. These will be available when the game goes live. Uh, I'll just pick the first one for now. No point in taking part on that. Customization, that's no offense to the developers, it's kinda laughable. It's it's no point to call, have call customization. It's just you no know, gender, male or female, skin color, and name. That's it. Alright, so let's pick your name. You go in. to get dropped into a war, soldier. If the Terran Republic is going to stomp out this rebellion and unify our axis, we need all of you working together out there. Stick with your squad, help out the soldier next to you, and show the rebels what a Terran Republic soldier is made of. You're plugged into our rebirthing matrix. 
So don't worry about getting taken out. Our nano reconstruction chambers can bring you back into the fight at any base under TR control. Nano construction technology will allow you to create vehicles at any of our Empire's vehicle terminals. But you'll need to make sure you've got access to the materials needed to replicate one. Everything you need, you'll earn through battle. So take as much territory as you can and crush anyone that opposes you. We're just about over the drop zone. Get ready. You're a soldier of the Terran Republic. Victory is our tradition. Good luck. Kind of bugged out a little bit there. Here we are. Drops you in. Automatically join a uh, squad. And here we are in the battle. Pull up the map here to see where we are exactly. Oh, this is the hardest part. Here we are. Yeah, look for a little like orange uh, arrow. That's you. Tells you which direction you're facing, where you're located. Uh, this map can you describe who. Uh, the factions, locations, purples, Vanu, blues, and C, reds, Terran. That was open. Awesome. Oh, that was nice. Yeah, I should have expected that. It's not smart to stay around there, but oh well. Alright, let's go back to the map again. Alright, so, you really can't see on this map. Let's see. So, we'll go back to our warp games. So, at least don't try to kill me. So, whenever you do log in, like the second time after the first initial uh, login, this is actually where you spawn in. So, uh, spawn two is at the warp gate. Uh, let's see. Go back to the map. Finish what I was trying to show you guys. All right. You see this little icon here? There's actually two more, which you can see on this screen here. It tells you what's uh, the the highest like combat areas like uh, zones are. So, red. Like heavy battles going on, like lots of units going on. Uh, orange, it's uh, confirmed areas, like uh, d definitely like, multiple enemies at a location trying to capture the, the base or whatever. Yellow, it's uh, has the most of leading. I really wouldn't look at yellow too much. Uh, it might be a good idea just to keep an eye on it though, but yeah, it kind of gives you an idea of like what's like maybe some enemy there it might be like one soldier just trying to like capture some points but I really don't look at that too much okay so let's go in if you, usually initially you come in as a light assault but once you go up to these equipment terminals you can change your class uh, first one here is uh, infiltrator uh, sniper it's got a cloak abilities you can go invisible uh, you can also uh, hack terminals to switch them to your faction if if you don't own the base originally. Uh, you also have this little nifty tool uh, to detect device. Really good against like enemy infiltrators because it basically reveals the unit onto the map for all your friendlies, so like everyone else around you can see them. Uh, light assaults, uh, really awesome, really quick to move around. They have a jump hack ability. Uh, so, if, especially if you know you're jumping out of a vehicle, like a high area, you can use j jump jets to sa safely land to the ground because you do take fall damage. Combat medic, uh, name sounds, you know, it's got heals uh, friendly uh, infantry. Engineer, repairs friendly vehicles or max units. Um, also, come be able to uh, deploy like ammo packs, so you can either resupply yourself or other friendlies. Ammo, or you can drop drop down a turret. So let me show you that right now. Here we go. Let's turn it. Turret comes with a little shield. Doesn't use ammo. Watch out when you like uh, see friends right in front of you. You do. There is only fire. You can kill someone by that. Turret. See the bomb right corner. Jerry T, that's the only thing I care about. That's it. That's it. Can't fire anymore until it cools down. Right. 
next is heavy assault. Uh, next to engineer, this is like a, my uh, most used uh, class. Uh, heavy rifle, uh, rocket launcher. You know, if you can't, if you're in a location without a vehicle terminal, uh, definitely want to spawn these guys. If you're against like other like enemy tanks, you can take them. Especially got a group of you, you can take one tank out real quick. Next is the max suit. Awesome, badass. Uh, can't capture terminals, uh, term capture bases with these guys, but really good to take out infantry. Uh, when you initially try to spawn one at the beginning, it comes with like a cycle gun, which is good against infantry, and a grenade launcher against vehicles, or you switch it out to a buster, which is anti-air. Uh, you can you can purchase uh, extra versions of each of these guns, so you can have one, two of uh, one of each type on each gun, so you can have two cycle. Two cyclers on one, uh, one in each arm, or two bursters. Uh, me personally, I usually go with a cycle and a burster, uh, or you no know, two cycles or two bursters. I really don't like going against tanks with the max. We're slow. Actually, it's really lousy at range, so you kind of get close, and you really don't want to do that with the tanks. They can basically kill you real quick, even with the max suit. So for now, we we'll just stick with the heavy assault. Let me show you. These are the vehicle terminals. These are your ground-based vehicles. The TR, you know, actually each uh, class uh, faction has a flash, a sunderer, which is basically a large group transport. Flash is a one-person transport, real quick. A lightning. Each faction has this uh, bow tank, really quick. Very little armor though. It's not meant to be sit, sit and fight. This is the TR's main battle tank, the Prowler, double barrel cannon. Like I said, it's awesome. It's really fun to use. Uh, does come with a second uh, weapon, a cannon, on, a gun on top. Uh, really, you really want to have someone on the top gun because if you have, like enemy infantry, like heavy, heavy assaults, like hanging around you, uh, if you don't see them, you're kind of like defenseless. So this is really good to help take them out. Or if you got enough, if you have enough angle, they can take out. Uh, Enemy aircraft, because that's a really good way to take out a tank, is an enemy, is the aircraft. And last two terminals here: uh, basic fighter uh, terminal, and the mosquito so TR. Like, uh, like I said earlier, really quick, like the fastest fighter, high rate of climb, uh, the fastest after the burner, uh, not the most maneuverable. Like, I know the NC is like the most heavily armored, best for dogfighting, and Nirvana is the most maneuverable of the fighters. And the Liberator, it's a, basically the bomber fighter for each faction has the same li same kind of li vehicle, each one has a Liberator. You know, the primary weapon is controlled by the pilot. It's, uh, secondary weapon, uh, it's a bomber gun. <laughs> it's, yeah, the second gunner uses that, the basic bomb ending below. And you got a tail gunner for deal with any like fighters might be attacking from behind. And last vehicle. No, here we go. It's the galaxy. You used to be able to uh, use this as an extra spawn point. Uh, I think they removed that for the Sunder or that that's the Sunder instead. Uh, yeah it's four guns, carries like uh, how much? Twelve? No, maybe more. And I think it's twelve. Twelve infantry. Uh, same with the Sunderer. Yeah only the other aircraft, you can safely jump out of this vehicle without having to spec into it, so... You know, if you, one good tactic is, you know, load it up, hover over an area you want to catch it, and just have everyone drop out of it, so that before you land. Yeah, let's see, I don't think what else to show you, it's important to know. Oh yeah, certifications. Uh, these are basically kind of like, like boosts, or like attachments, for like weapons. Your armor, uh, you need to cert uh, use certification points, which you don't have at the beginning, but you eventually you accumulate over time, or through gameplay. Like after someone kills, you get a certain point. Uh, every time you level up, you get a certain amount of certain points. Uh, you can use that to. Let's see. Mm, so I'm trying to test it out. Warp gate, you're pretty much gonna kill you. Oh he's, you know, he's, oh, he's got a new gun. Here, let's show you the search again. All right, so utility slot—that's universal. Everyone has this. 
Uh, this is just medical kits. And this is rest of this is based on the class. Uh, you know, armor. As you can see, it's like uh, the heavy assaults got this armor uh, abilities. You know, increases like how much armor you have. Uh, you can change like how much kind of shield armor you you want. Animal belts, like how many what rocks you have, how much ammo packs you have. Uh, you change different grenades, like each certain classes have you can throw a grenade. Uh, you can change what kind of grenades you have. And you can have like different suppressors for your, your weapons, optics, like sights, and different like rail attachments for your weapons. Flashlights, I for sure probably everyone agrees like, I think flashlights kinda of the most useless attachment they have. Uh, at night it gets really dark, but with the flashlight you kind of just give yourself away. It's I I always turn it off if I have it. I just I don't see how it's kind of a useless attachment there. Cause you just you give us a void to the enemy. It's really no point to having that. Ah, bugged out. Hang on. Yeah, still bugs every now and again. Hopefully they fix that before it goes live. There we go. And here it's the same thing with the, your basic pistol. And you basically do the same thing again here with your vehicles. Prowler, like, here it's back into like, you know, like, uh, different sights you want on it. At, you put more ammo. Uh, let's see, different like little abilities, like, you know, like infrared smoke to block out, prevent, help prevent locks. Uh, you know, like, armor, you put extra armor on your tanks. Uh, then what else? Uh, okay, we have the cash shop. Uh, like certain stuff, you can either, like weapons, you can either unlock with certification points, which takes a long time, or you can use cash. Uh, you can uh, limit what you see here, like either by type, like weapon type or class. Show what weapons available to each one. I think that, what was that? Oh, God, I was using it. I think it was, I think it was, I think it was a ch chain gun. Or the shotgun, I forgot. Uh, see, you also the same thing with vehicles, you know, different, different weapons, guns you can put on your vehicles. You can customize yourself, like, just, it's only looks, it's, it doesn't actually add anything. You know, like, different, like, armor plating, look, helmets, it's, it's all customization, it's just look. Like camos. This, I don't know, it's, I, I'm really hoping this is just for what your faction can see. This, that sounds like a really dumb idea to have this kind of glow on your vehicles. Like at night, like a, kind of like, be like a flashlight at night. Just reveal yourself to the enemy. So I hope that's just your faction only. Uh, da -da -da. Oh yeah, you, little hooded ornaments, cockpit uh, decals. Hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else. The map I showed you. Uh, profile screen. The uh, titles. Don't know what PFC means. Super private. Your cert list. Uh, how many? How many? What's, how long it takes to get to your next rank? Uh, what boost you have? That's another you can get in the shop. Uh, you can get like, XP boost, resource boost, or certification boost. Uh, personally, I think the cert bo certification boosts are probably the most useful because since it does take so long to earn them, there's a lot of gameplay or time. Um, resources, I think it's kind of useless to have that unless you really need it. Unless you, like, you almost have like, no cert resources and you need, really need a vehicle now, that's I really don't see why you need that. It, you, you'll just accumulate it over time. It's, you don't have to actually do anything during that, really. Uh, it's just play. And you'll you'll earn resources. That's that's kind of useless. XP is probably the, the next best useful uh, boost to have, just because it, it's uh, passively. Every time you uh, gain a level, you get more cert points. So that's useful. But like, I, was, I just I would just stick with like certification boosts. Experience, experience boost. Oh, where? Actually, did they remove the certification boost? No, I'm thinking about it. Oh, I think they actually removed that. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh. 
It also, it is a free to play game. You don't have to pay for this game at all. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure you can just download it from the website when it goes live. But you can have a membership if you want. It gives you a little uh, resource and XP boost if you have it. Uh, I think some other uh, bonuses you get for having a membership. Or you can just get station cash and just you know purchase what you want. That's disabled for now. This is still beta. Uh, let's see leaderboards. You know, generic, you know, generic, you know, first person shooter leaderboard kind of thing. Uh, your stats. Uh, oh yeah. When you have weapons, uh, you get medals. Uh, it kind of like if you get like number of kills on a weapon, you'll get a medal on it, and it kind of gives like a little bonus to it. So like here. I mean, if you got a medal, you earn like one extra uh, serve point for like, kills. It's like like this example. And it tells you like how many kills you need to get. It's like well, this weapon needs you need to get ten kills to get a medal on it. Let's see. Vehicles. I don't <laughs> drop on. <laughs> And I can't think of anything else. I think that's basically kind of gives you an idea of everything you need to know. So, let's see. Oh. Yeah, here's one more thing you need to know. A continent terminal. Kind of lets you change what continents you're on. Sorry, so these are the three continents you have. Uh, Launch, Indar, Esamir, Amoresh. Uh, it kind of tells you uh, who's last conquered it. You can get continent locked. Even though, you know, warp gate's your safe area, like, in here, nobody can kill us. We're pretty much safe in here. Uh, but, also, like, all, like, this surrounding terrain can be completely conquered by one faction. And this kind of gives an idea, like, what's the ratio, so, like, Indar, it's mostly TR, but, like, it's almost evenly, uh, distributed to kind of, between the three factions. Esselmir is mostly Vivanu. And Amresh is like, again, it's kind of the same as Endar. It's mostly TR, but it's n the rest of the faction is not that off. Uh, right. Each continent is like different like, ter um, environments. Endar is like a desert continent. There's some like grassy, like green area, like the bottom left corner is grassy, but it's mostly just a desert. Esomir is like all ice, like a, a tundra continent. Snowstorms, it can be really hard to fly and like use tanks because you just like no uh, visual, you, you cannot see anything. Like, you really need like infrared uh, scopes on, on your vehicles to use on SMR when you have like desert uh, snowstorms. And Amresh is like, the nicest continents, you know, all green junk uh, forests, uh, like mountains, I think rivers you can cross. Uh, if you're Vanu, that's the benefit of being Vanu. They're, uh, hover tanks can go over water. Uh, and that's about it, I think. I can't think of anything else. Uh, hopefully, I'm not forgetting anything you guys need to know. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll just end it there. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, I'll see you guys when the game goes live. Uh, it's going to be fun. I really can't wait. To <laughs> I, can't wait. I really hope the servers can handle it because it's going to be crazy. Uh, like these these maps are massive. Like this really doesn't show you like how big these maps are, but it like the way they describe it like this uh, little hex here. That's kind of basically the size like a, a kind of like a battlefield map, like a map on like on Battlefield 3 or something like like those like first person shooter games. That's just like one little section. It's that's it. This map is gigantic. And there's like thousands of players on here. Like, Hundreds of thousands, so it's gonna be crazy when this game goes live and like how many people are gonna be on here. So can't wait. Uh, hopefully, they can't, it's gonna be a suck when I can't be able to play over the weekend. But hey, they gotta do what they gotta do. This is this is just beta. It's not actually live yet. So all right, see you next week then when the game goes live. Bye.